If you can imagine it, and you believe it, you can achieve it. Be, have, do, live, laugh, love. What's up, young imaginators? Oh, check, check it out. There's some more DC Imaginax. Finally, finally, honestly, finally. Uh, dropping at Walmart. These are 388. And it looks like uh, very cool. If you look at this set and the last set, the anniversary series for Imaginax, uh, generic, in general, generic characters, uh, they've dispensed with blind bags. And that is exciting. So, yeah, you get a little Velcro closure and you can look at the figures this is great for a couple reasons first it's great for the retailer like walmart because people aren't just ripping bags open they did, a lot of people didn't realize the packs were coded and a lot of people don't have no scruples and they just be opening bags in stores ridiculous oh but two it's good for the rest of us who pay for our purchases because we can just go ahead and uh compare them i came upon a full case and there's four of each in the case so it's a, it's a set of six, case of 24, four of each, no chase figure, no rarity ratios, no dumb, stupidly, enhancedly, and stupid, st crazy, uh, insane, uh, uh, you know, chase after this guy because we only made four of them. Uh, no, but my point is you can compare the paint jobs because a lot of times nowadays the paint is whack on Imaginex. Let's put these in order. Okay. Uh, two, three, four five six and one now there's no bios kind of wish it was a little bio but this just kind of looks like classic batman and well am i gonna pause and cut these like i did with the other guys or am i gonna just grip and rip i'm gonna grip and rip okay so these are the new bat tech light up system what they want you to do is you get this huge play set. Okay, that's fine. A uh, one in the series is a classic looking Batman. You're gonna put you're gonna get this set probably let me guess the price on that. Forty or maybe fifty dollars. I think this is at Walmart too. Uh, but basically you just put a little light behind them and bring the bat tech bat cave for light up action. Bring them to life, bring them to life. Yo, I looked at four of these, and I got, and I still got one with that wonky of a chest plate. So the deal is the, there's a translucent portion in the chest of each of these. And then you just hold that light behind it. It's going to light it right up. Now you can also see the inner workings of how they fit these together. Because you, you've noticed that the glue in the harder plastic chest piece is so tight, and the arms... And legs fit in so snugly. There's no electronics or anything inside this. You're just holding a light behind it. It's the same gimmick as... What was that toy line? Everybody loved junk bots. There's probably been a couple toy lines that have that gimmick. That's a little bit of flashing up on his shoulder. I can cut that off with the blade of an X-Acto knife. I'll get him looking real good. But the main thing is I wanted to compare these because some of them had terrible paint around the mouths and eyes. I got the best one of all four. Because full case was in store. Pack number two is you. Okay. Once again, cool art. Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, there's no um bios, but there is a full name. Just now noticing. So that does just say Batman. This call this is called the Apocalypse Armor Batman. So what does that mean? I was going to call it Batman Beyond. Does Batman Beyond live in the city called Apocalypse instead of Gotham? But you see, there is no paint on this guy. And what you're observing as red... Okay, that's, that's red paint on the face. But anything red in the chest is the translucent plastic. You can light him right up. You think about it, that last series I look at, the anniversary series, 20th anniversary series for Imaginex as a brand they had a lot of translucent stuff going on you could light them up too have fun with it have fun with it get yourself a light up bat tech bat cave and have fun with life okay uh, pack three is called bat wing oh right i'm just so excited to see new stuff dropping finally because listen to this 
Oh, cool. He's got a, a, a attachable battery. Now with him, look, it's not the whole light up. It's not the whole translucent back side of the back half of the back. It's just a little dot. But that's going to make that shine so good. So, so good. I might have to get that bat tech back cave just to, just to see in person in real life first-hand experience what that's going to look like because right now i can only use my imaginative imaginator imagine next imagination and i'm thinking it's going to look real good. ah but this is what i was trying to say there's been a whole lot of imaginex that did not come to my area and i and this is not just because of uh the chaos of 2020 I'm realizing I missed stuff from 2018, 2019, didn't come to my area. I'm trying to fill in some of the holes, some of the gaps in my collection, especially with that uh, DC stuff. Look, man, there was a pop-up playset. I never saw that. There was an advent calendar. Who the heck got that? I'm always at retail. I'm always looking at Magic. I'm always looking at and looking for Magic. It's been the same Harley Quinn, the same Cheetah, and the same uh, Ninja Bat, whatever that lady was. Just sitting on shelves for, but there's packs on my Walmart shelves from 2018 that just been sitting there. Oof. And Target don't care either. But listen, this is a uh, Yellow Lantern Batman. That yellow chest gonna light right up. Now look at all that terrible paint job, and I got the best one of four. So I guess the Yellow Lantern core. Where's the ring on the left hand? I don't know. Maybe Bruce Wayne is left-handed. I never investigated these things. But yeah, man, I missed so many packs, so many multi-packs, and an advent calendar, a pop-up playset with mystery figures, and I shouldn't even admit to this. Somehow, I missed, because I'm saying, not only did it not come to retail in my area, because I would have known, but I missed even acquiring the knowledge that it's something I should have got for cheap on eBay back in the day. Uh, that big king shark. The big king shark and the big clay face. They don't look great, but, you know, uh, I'm excited. Those are two of my favorite DC characters. And this is uh, Black Adam. And where's his boy Shazam? Somehow we skip Shazam. Black Adam. The Rock. And they have rubber capes instead of fabric capes. You might call them hoods. It's all good in the rubber hood. You're going to light up his whole back. And you're going to light up his back. There's a little bit of paint transfer here from the packaging. So you want to get him you want to get him out of there, rescue him before he leaches ink from straight from the cardboard. All right. Okay, this is good news, though. Because, look, there's a, there's a, the Wacky Racers. What are they called? The Sumo Slammers? Boom! Slam! Boom! Series 2. Uh, yeah, I heard that's coming out. I'm hopeful that that could come to retail uh, in 2021. And there's... Dude, I just found out there's Toy Story Slammers. <sighs> who is getting these? If not Walmart, Who? But yeah, there should be a five pack of these. And then I have, I've already acquired, I'm going to show you real soon, the 80th anniversary Batman Imagine X figures. Okay, so it's it's looking good for toy insanity. I just have not been successful at seeing these things at first tier retail or any clearance store. But I am at least getting them. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them all. I've been collecting Imagine X since, well, allegedly they're, 20 years old but remember they used to look kind of wonky they, they were sculpted different back in the day i yeah but i'll tell you this much i've been collecting imagine x since since they teamed up with dc you know i haven't been doing youtube since then but you know back in the day the original packs with remember the uh, flash with the yellow lantern i got that and i got the original Harley Quinn, obviously, in the original Poison Ivy with Scarecrow. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Okay. My favorite characters like Poison Ivy. 
uh, Swamp Thing, Scarecrow, Killer Croc, King Shark, and, and, and Clayface. Remember the original Clayface? They did Ice Face and they did Snow Face. I got those two. I'd always hoped they'd made a green one. That's back in the days of Toys R Us. Toy Insanity waxing nostalgic right now. But thank you so much for the thumbs up. Thank you for check, 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 checking me out. You can check out the DC playlist for the DC things I collect. Which is mostly Creature Chaos and Imaginex and a handful of other stuff. And you can check out the Imaginex playlist for the Imaginex things I collect. Like the Toy Story and a little bit of the Jurassic Park. And then also their original creatures and characters I like a lot. I like it a lot. I have done so and liked them from the start. Thanks again. And uh, get out of here. <laughs>